Good morning, greetings, and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Uh, just got inside the car. I kind of cleaned it out a little bit because I want to go get an oil change today and then I'm going to go get a car wash because I think those are two things my car is in desperate need of. So we're going to do that and then we're probably going to head over to maybe the Veterans Thrift just really quickly and then um, back at the house because I want to clean up and do some stuff around the house too. So I have a ton of stuff I want to get done today because this weekend is going to be super duper busy. I'm going to go thrifting on Saturday then Sunday I'm going to go pick up Alexa. Finally, we're going to go hang out and I have to, um, I think we're going to go to the DMV sometime this week too because she needs to get an ID so anyway that's the update for right now I'll see you guys in a second all right you guys we just got to the post office or post office we're at the car wash so I'm just sitting here hanging out I got my oil change already it was super fast which was really nice and I think the car wash isn't gonna take too long either so I'll see you guys again in a second all right, you guys, I just got back inside the car. It's super clean, and I'm super duper excited about it. Um, this is the cleanest my car has probably been all year, to be honest. <laughs> it was, like, so gross. But, um, yeah, finally got a car wash, so I'm very excited. Uh, now I just got to the Veterans Thrift. I just parked, and we're going to go inside and see what we can find today. Hopefully, we can find some treasures. I've been to the Veterans Thrift, I think, every day this week. And every day, I've been finding at least, like, a few cool things. So I'm having, like, a lot of fun just seeing what I can find just coming here for a few minutes, like, every day. So let's go see what we can find today. All right, let's go inside and check out the store. It's super overcast today, too. Perfect All right, you guys, we are inside looking at the handbags. See if they brought anything new out since the last time we were here. Ooh, six Della McCartney. A Vera Pell. Oh, these are like the ones that are like actual real leather. Maybe I should pick this up because it's actually cute. This is like as close I'm gonna get is to like a real Flabella with Stella McCartney, but this is cute. Like I like the style. Okay, let's just hold on to it. It's only seven dollars, so and pretty sure it's real leather too. Liz Claiborne. Ooh, Liz Claiborne with that caviar leather. Vintage three dollars. I just found a couple bags. There's this cute little Mark by Mark, but it's $50. But it's super cute, so I'm considering. 
but it's, I don't know, it's a little expensive for the smaller size, but then I also found this Rebecca Minkha, which is also like 50 bucks, but also like another cute style, and I've never seen this style before at the thrift, and I really like it, or in general, oh, there's like a little pin mark right there, I think. Maybe we're gonna have to wait on this one, but it has the pretty bird print interior lining, which is super fun, and I do like the hardware, but yeah, the style is really cool too, but it is more worn in. Maybe I'm gonna have to wait on this one as well. Alright, I'm in the backpack section. They used to have this behind the case. It's that Stella McCartney duffel bag, and now it's out here for 35 so I think I'm gonna get it. Ooh, I just found a toy brooch. 30 buckaroos? Ooh, why do I kind of like this? It's like a Dooney and Burke. This is like 50 bucks though, but... The bag is meant to be in bad condition. Okay, here's what the inside look like. It looks like it's a laptop tote. Like a more vintage style one, but the like it's really well made. Fifty bucks though, we'll see. Hey, this is one of those away luggages. These are expensive. I wonder if this is fifty bucks. I wonder if this is well good. Just noticed this Hello Kitty ring right there. It looks pretty cute. Alrighty, guys, I found the carry-on size of this away luggage. It is two hundred and forty-five dollars, which is crazy. Um, though I don't know how am I supposed to know what the lock code is. Like, that's hard. <laughs> so I honestly have no clue. Okay, I just found a rag and bone shirt for four bucks. So pretty excited. I like the color. You guys, they had this uh, super cute Ralph Lauren shirt, but there's like a hole like right there, which is such a bummer because it's such a cute print. And then right here is a Ted Baker, still waiting for it to go on sale, it's 20 buckaroos. And right here is that Burberry shirt that I'm also waiting to go on sale still, so... <laughs> I'm just slowly bidding my time hoping no one buys it, but... That's just me hope being like hopelessly, hopelessly optimistic. But we'll see, I mean anything's possible. I'm just going through the rest of these shirts. Having the time of my life. Lacoste. Oh, this is a cute Lacoste shirt. Oh, huh. $24.92 though. I'll tell you guys if I find anything else. Oh, there's another Lacoste. Oh my gosh, I found my first car heart. It has like a little stainy stain right there, but I feel like that'll just come out. Made in Vietnam. Five buckaroos. Interesting, we're gonna think about that. Onwards. Wait a minute, this polo shirt is everything. Look at these stripes. It's only two buckaroos. The question is, will these stains come out? Is it worth trying it for two, two, for two doll hairs? So I just found these vintage, I don't know if they're vintage. Maybe they are? Did it say what year these were made? Um. Disney sold for, well it doesn't say what year, but these are like, they were curtains, and what if these were made like into a mask, like a face mask? These would be so cute, right? Alright, I also found this fabric, which is so pretty, like this would be such nice pillows. This fabric is, vi oh, $10 though, Ooh, that's expensive. You expensive. Um, we'll probably wait for this to go on sale. <laughs> Just found a leather bag strap for 99 cents. Love it. Oh, are these? Oh, these are little napkin holders, like little napkin rings. That's kind of cute. What else do they have here? Look this little section for us. All right, we are back in the sea section. And what are these? What did I think that these were like Hello Kitty bows for a second? <laughs> I just have like Hello Kitty on the brain. Oh. Okay. Well, we have some Louboutins here. 
But these are in a hot mess condition and we're gonna say no. So no to these. I don't think these are authentic either. So, well maybe. Actually, they actually might be authentic. Mm, or maybe not. It doesn't matter, it's too damaged anyway. So we're not even gonna dwell on it. <laughs> Uh, Michael Kors, Ivanka Trump, Michael Kors. Let's see if there's anything else that's cool that we can find. I did not know if they had E live from the red carpet shoes. Look at that blinged out. LD Tuttle, never heard of this. These are $35. Got some Sam Edelman. I know these are J. Crew. We have seen those for a while. Steve Madden, Jessica Simpson. Alright, you guys, I got all the goodies. Let's go home and I'll show you guys what I got. Alright, you guys, I actually just got home and I did a live sale. And then now I'm leaving with John to go pick up the food. So I'll see you guys in the car. All right, you guys, we are in the car driving to get fun. I'm so super excited. John's here with me. Say hi, bro. Hello. All right, I'll see you guys there. It's like a roller coaster. Look how pretty it is over there. All, all the yellow flowers are kind of like closed up for now, but yay. All right, we just got to the place. All right, you guys, we got our food. It's like back there. And we also got boba. Hey guys, okay, so we are back in the house, and boy, did we get a ton of stuff. This much stuff, to be exact. So, let's get started, shall we? And I apologize if, like, I sound awful. My allergies are out of control. And, yeah, like, rest in peace, my nasal passageways, because I cannot breathe anymore. <laughs> but... And yes, I'm taking allergy medicine, but sometimes the power of the pollen is just too intense. We have like this mega bloom or something that's happening in the hills behind the house. And there's these like five million bazil- well, like, might even a million. A quadrillion. <laughs> they're called like mustard plants. I think they're just weeds, but like with yellow flowers. The pollen is just like floating in the air everywhere I go. And it's just like, ah! So... It's just intense, but we're going to power through. Um, so let's hop into this haul before um, I die of my allergies. First thing I have here is I found this Dua Lipa hoodie. And I guess her merch is like really expensive because I think I... Well, I looked this one up. I think it's like $80 for this. So it's like her anime style merch, which is so, so stinking cute. Had to get it. Really, really fun. So picked it up. And yeah, Dua Lipa. Who doesn't love her? She is amazing. Um, then up next. So I've never picked up anything or found anything Carhartt before, but all of my friends that are like resellers and stuff always talk about how I need to pick up Carhartt because it, it's like amazing and it's like really popular ever since. Um, who wore it? Like Kanye and some other people. Um, so I picked up this Carhartt shirt. So there we go. I don't know. Maybe I should keep this for myself. TBH. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape. I don't know. Am I cool enough to wear something like this? Carhartt? I have no clue. But we got it. It was $5. The sweater was $10. Then, I guess I'm showing you guys all the clothes first. I picked up this um, rag and bone. This is like a cool, like, it's almost like a chambray style fabric. But I think it's just like an indigo dyed t-shirt. in this, like, cool style has, like, some cool aesthetic holes right there in the shirt and yeah beautiful blue color i actually really like this tone so uh pretty excited about it and hopefully this shirt will fit me i don't know it looks like maybe it's a little small we shall see so that was um those were wait uh, do i have any other clothing pieces oh i got this too because i think this is like a vintage ralph lauren it's polo by ralph lauren 
But, um, well, I don't know if it's vintage necessarily, but the color is undeniable. I had to get it. I feel like I used to have a shirt just like this when I was younger, and it, like, harkens me back to my childhood with, like, um, little Hadrian wearing a little striped polo shirt, probably with some, like, denim shorts or something, and I probably had a bowl cut type of hairstyle and uh, we were probably at like a family gathering I was probably eating lumpia or egg rolls <laughs> so I don't know I got it the shirt was super festive I like it and yeah so I don't even know if I'm gonna wear it myself or I'm gonna resell it but I just had to get it because the pattern was undeniable the colors the stripes beautiful that was a masterpiece um uh, okay what do we have next okay now this is super duper random but um, I picked up the, this, like, fabric. Um, this is, these were, like, a child's curtains. And they have Disney princesses on them. It's Snow White, Cinderella, and Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And, like, each panel was a few bucks. I got them because, uh, mom is going to make them into masks. She likes to make masks for herself and for us and she has a lot of friends that are nurses and she makes them all the time and sends them to them like all of mom's like college friends like it, she's amazing she like makes these masks for them and just like sends them to her friends and to her like their co-workers so um people have been asking be if uh, mom's gonna be selling any i honestly don't know if she has any time to make any to resell just because she's just always making them when she has like a spare moment for um her friends that work at the hospitals so i don't know we shall see maybe i'll get like a couple and throw them up in the shop or something i don't know but this is a really cool print she has um we used to make like well mom used to make them and i would like advertise and like li like sell them online but we used to make these really cute um like disney inspired bows and ears and stuff and i think i used to show you guys on the channel like back in the day when we made them um if you guys watch like the earlier vlogs you might have seen them they're definitely still there to see if you like go back in time to look at those videos so it's always cool to like look back at like those times too like we were everything was so different back then it was crazy so uh i definitely have you guys to thank for a lot of like the changes too that have happened in my life so i appreciate you all immensely because i wouldn't be here without all of you so thank you so much but yeah those, um, that fabric is going to be really cute to make as masks, and, I mean, who isn't a Disney princess fan, right? Like, I would probably rock one if mom made one for me. I would probably wear it. Oh, and then I also got, um, this leather bag strap, which I'm pretty excited about. It was only 99 cents. I really wanted to open up and take it out. Oh, I thought it was black, but it's navy. Ooh, nice. I don't know why it looked, well, the lighting in the store, first of all, is atrocious, but, um, wow, this is actually a really nice strap. And look at that leather, it is nice. That is nice leather. This is the underside, this is the top. Beautiful. Wow, I'm really excited about this. This is a good 99 cent buy. Okay, well, um, I'm excited. I, do I have any bags that'll fit this? Maybe. This one actually, I have, um, is this the same color as my Chloe? Not Chloe, Celine, maybe. But what a cool piece. Like, even if I was to use this with like a, this would be beautiful on like a golden tan leather bag. Like, this contrasting blue color would be stunning. So, very excited about these. I don't know. I've recently been, um, finding, a like bag straps and I've just been picking them up because like bags a lot of the time do not come with straps or I also just like to mix and match handbag straps to my handbags. I think that it's like a fun way to like uh, change them up and express yourself a little bit more uh, and they're a fun contrast and I don't know I like it so I I, I like it. You know like how they have like those Fendi straps or like like all the different um, fashion houses are making different bag straps for their handbags. You can buy, they, they just sell them specifically by themselves and you can just add them onto your handbag. I think they're so super fun. I have my eye on like a um, a Fendi one that would be so cute as a camera strap. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back into the haul. 
Um, what do we have? Oh, okay. Now this one is really cool as well. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this out to show you guys. But I got this Ralph Lauren. Um, I'm just going to show the photo. But this is it. It's a Ralph Lauren polo bear uh, beach towel. And it's the tennis polo bear. It's super duper cute. I'm going to like have it appear right here for you guys. Um, it was $6.98. So I had to get it. Those things, are, I think they're like really popular online too. Um, people sell them on like Depop and Grailed and Poshmark and stuff. So I was excited to find it. Uh, I remember, like, I think we used to have some, like, back in the day when we were younger. I think, like, they were, like, gift with purchases at the store. Sorry, I'm playing with the receipt. How much did I spend during this trip? I spent $167.46. Yikes. Um, yeah, so. Pretty cool. Alright, now let's get on to... What do we have? Oh, I also did pick these up. I've been picking up, like, dolls recently because I have, like, a friend and I have, like, a couple of you guys, too, that message me all the time whenever I find dolls or whatever in videos. And I found this one, um, this one particular doll. It's actually, what year was this from? 1975. So, this one right here is from 1975. And it has, like, an articulating body. Like, its chest moves, its hand moves. So, I was like, ooh. Like, I feel like that might be, like, some sort of, like, expensive or rare doll or whatever. So, I just picked it up. It was two bucks. We'll see. So, I got that. Then, I picked up a couple little handbags. I picked up this really cute... Uh, this one kind of looks, it looks like a Stella McCartney, but instead of, like, I know Stella McCartney bags are vegan leather. This one is leather, and it's by, um, it's by that company Verapel. They're from Italy. They make, like, a lot of kind of, like, almost, like, kind of designer dupe kind of style bags. But their bags are gorgeous, and this one is stunning. It's, like, this gray leather, which I really, really like. And it has this amazing chain. And even if I was to just buy this chain by itself at Amazon, it would be like around $10. So this bag itself was 7 so we got everything for 7 bucks. But I'll definitely put this up in the shop because I think one of you guys is going to like this. It's really, really cute. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can use that as a clutch because the strap is removable. So lots of different things you can do with this bag. And it's really, really cute. And the color, I think, will go with a lot of different things. So I had to pick it up. Again, $7 for this bag. So that was a really cool find. The next one I got is another smaller bag. This one is a little Kate Spade black, and of course with a light gold hardware. The strap is contrasting, where um, one side of the strap is black, the other side is kind of like a vachetta color. And then you, I love this lock from Kate Spade. Like this is like, I love this design. So you turn it, opens like this. Here's the interior. Has one interior zipper pocket. And this will definitely fit your iPhone Pro Max Plus, which is what I have. It'll fit inside here perfectly. I checked it out already. And yeah, um, how much did I pay for this? I think the strat the, the price tag fell off when um, I purchased it, but I think it was 20, oh, nine, was it the 19 dot? Yeah, I think it was 1996 was the price of it. So I got that. Ooh, you know what? I also did end up getting that pink away luggage, which I totally forgot. I have it in the hallway. I'll just put it up right here because it'll be easier to show. But I did end up getting it. It's awesome. Um, I think mom really likes it because she saw it. She's like, that's really cute. And I was like, yeah. She's like, um, she was checking it out. It's really nice and lightweight. So, um, and you can stick like a charger kind of thing inside of it. Um, and you can like charge your phone inside. So, I thought that was pretty cool about that. I, yeah, it was $50. It was pretty expensive, but those things are, uh, I think they resell for like over $100, and I think retail they're about $250. So, and it's a really cute color. It's like a light pink, like a blush pink color. So, I thought it was cool. Um, I'll let mom decide whether or not she wants it. Otherwise, I'll definitely put it up in the shop, and it'll be available to you guys if anyone is interested. I just don't have the code to, like, like, I can't actually lock it up, but, like, it, it's not actually locked right now. Like, the, 
I can open, like, you can open it and stuff, but you just can't use, like, the actual lock on it. But it's a carry-on, so I feel like it's not, like, super duper as important to be able to lock it because you're pretty much going to have it with you the whole time. Um, you're just going to put it in the overhead compartment or whatever. Anyway, so um, I ended up getting it as $50. I thought that was a like, cool find. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, then, oh, I only have two more things for you guys. <gasps> oh, I forgot that this had this on here. So, um, I got this beautiful black Alexander Wang makeup pouch. This was $14.96. Hold on. I'm actually just going to slowly peel off the sticker. Like, uh, sticker, stickers on, like, leather items just like stress me out. I totally forgot that this was still on here. So let me just take it off. I don't want it to like ruin the leather. Like I know it's like a black leather so it's a lot easier to take care of. So anything did happen to it with the sticker I can easily fix it. But um if you see a sticker on leather like just try to take it off right away. Like don't let it sit. But the interior just has um uh, has like some makeup stains which I'm pretty sure I can just get out pretty easily. I like to just use a makeup wipe. Usually does the trick, but um, I can actually turn this one inside out so I can like clean it and scrub it um, really well too with like, some Dawn detergent soap or something. But this was fifteen dollars. Alexander Wang makeup pouch, really really cool. I'm probably I I think I might keep this. Uh, this would be like a great little travel thing for um, when we are traveling. Uh, go to the Philippines a lot, so I can definitely use this. I like the little studs right here, or like the little metal pieces on the bottom. I think that's super duper cool. And I don't know, I just like really like this pouch. Like the structure of it is just really nice. The lambskin is super duper soft. It does have like some... Um, I don't know if, like, a product was spilled on it because the leather kind of looks like it's, like, kind of bubbling just, like, a little bit. But that could also just be the leather itself. I don't even know. But that's, like, not really that much of a problem. You really can't even see it. And if I'm just going to keep it for myself, I really don't mind. The interior just has a open pouch, or open pocket, and then a zipper pocket right there in the back. And, yeah, $15 for the Alexander Wang pouch. Got that one. Very excited about it. The so last but not least, we have this. Um, so this used to be behind the uh, the jewelry counter, and this is a Stella McCartney uh, duffel bag, and it looks like this. It's like big and green, and this actually caught like. Like zips up and becomes like a backpack, which is cool. So it's a convertible Stella McCartney backpack duffel. Uh, it's awesome. I really, really like it. It is missing the. I think there's supposed to be like one more medallion right here for the zipper pull. I'm just gonna attach like something else to it because it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but I think it's supposed to be something like this on there. So I can probably just take it off of something else and stick it on there. And that'll probably... Oh, I can... Oh, this! It's, this is probably it. This is probably the thing. Oh, my gosh. Crisis averted, because I think this is it. I think this is just it. This is it, because when you zip it up, it would be really awkward to have a giant medallion in there. So I think this is just it. <gasps> Yay! It's not lost! I'm excited! Woo! Okay, well, yeah, Stella McCartney um piece right here it's super duper cool and i don't know i like it um here's the interior it also comes with a removable pouch wow okay it has a little removable pouch which is cute that's stella mccartney on it it has an interior zipper pocket um and yeah so it's just a really cool piece there's two exterior uh pockets too and i i really like this color i love like an olive green color so i thought this was really cool and this one was 34 dollars it used to be like i think it used to be 200 and i don't think anyone bought it and then they brought it out to the floor and when they brought it onto the floor i just happened to be walking across the backpack section and i was like yike once they put it up so i was like thank you so i'm really really excited about this i think this is a really cool piece very versatile and yeah it's just like a great overnight bag weekend bag travel bag it has the top handles, it has the crossbody strap, 
and um, yeah, very excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it because uh, I think I'm getting too excited. So that actually is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today and checking out what we found at the thrift store. It was such a smorgasbord of amazing things. So I'm really, really excited to be able to have taken you there during this day to find all these cool things. If you guys would like to and haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified because I am doing live sales now. And I think a lot of these items that I showed you guys are going to be in a live sale very soon. Or they'll be up in the shop. It's Adrian.com. The link is down below in the description box. But I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, please consider giving the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your family and friends. Don't forget to tune in to tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I love you guys immensely. And see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye.